Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to this game tutorial. Today we add a nice, really nice feature actually. It's to keep track of which wave you're on right now. So, um, I went ahead and I played a little bit. I was on wave 20 when I left. And if I just boot this again, I'm now on wave 20. We're actually starting from that point from now on. So say we're on wave 20, we're saving here. If we leave on wave 21, like right now, then we're still gonna be starting on wave 20 because we're only saving this every 10 waves to give our user some kind of challenge. So if we, he, he needs to be breaking the 10 waves every time he wants to have a new checkpoint. So that's what we're gonna be doing today, guys. And without further ado, let's get started. All right, so let's go ahead and open up the tower script. This is where um, we're going to contain some information about which way we're starting on. So let me just go at the very top here. We probably have a field called uh, current level or starting level. Or actually it's chosen difficulty over here. So what we'll do is we'll create another um, public int that we'll call um, starting level. So we're going to go ahead and just say starting level. It's going to be a set get again. And this is going to be loaded from the save string as well. So we'll need to keep track of that somewhere. Um, however, I'll like, I'll like to just leave it there for now. We're gonna, just going like, to start implementing it, and once it works, we can go ahead and just save it somewhere. So as for now, I'll just go into start, say starting level is equal to 10. Something like that, just to um, test this out. Alright, now in the game manager itself, I'm right now in the game manager, this is when we boot the game, uh, we start a mission. There is a current wave over here that says current wave is equal to 1. We're actually going to remove that and change it for data... Uh, sorry, the tower dot instance dot um, starting level, just like that. So current wave is going to be equal to 10 right away. Let's actually just give this a try, see how it works, and hopefully we don't like have anything weird going on. And we might. I mean, that's just how it is. So just booting the game. Yep going inside of the game see easy it says we're on wave 14 now are we really in wave 14 and to test this out I'll just press on the pause menu and it says if you win now if you leave now you're gonna have 900 gold now I'm like I just showed you this is obviously something we don't want to happen um, we'd like to actually remove the gold reward if you're starting from that level so um, somewhere in our game where we give out that loot which is right about here gold reward we're also going to remove, um, well, we have current wave over here, minus one, but we need to remove the amount that we get usually. So here is what we're going to do. Int, um, we're going to declare it above it. Int starting gold um, reward would be equal to all of that. So, And in that starting gold reward int, we're going to do um, the tower that instance starting level then we do a minus one again times a hundred and that's just that's just the, n the number of gold we should get and uh, on that gold reward over here we'll do minus starting gold reward and if everything is fine we should actually get the good number down here so let's um, let's go ahead and try this out we need to modify it at one other place as well so we need to modify it when we die but we also need to modify it in the text which is right above here so I'll copy over this line and I'll do minus starting gold reward just like this so we fixed it at one place I think <laughs> let's actually test this out so I don't just uh, advance myself with something that doesn't work so let's say we go over to the game we start in medium and leaving now will reward you with zero gold which is exactly what we'd like now let's go ahead and just beat one level. Remember that we're on medium, so that would be times two. And it's also wave 11, so here we go. Rewarding, uh, relieving now it means you'd get 200 gold. That's perfectly fine. Now the next step we need to actually um, change is whenever we die. So where is the tower death? On oh, tower death over here. So there's a gold amount that we should give when we do die. It's reward on defeat. I'll go here, press F12. And um, here it is. 
Now I'm going to paste this line, the one I still had in my clipboard, and it's the same exact thing. So in the starting gold, uh, starting level, minus one times 100, and that would be diff, so int difficulty over here. We take this amount, we do amount minus equal, oh, sorry. We do amount minus equal to starting gold reward. And this way we should actually have everything working. And that's pretty much it for the bug we just uh, created. Now let's keep coding our feature where, uh, say we were on wave 10, then we actually save the progress of that. Now what I'd like to do is actually save every 10 waves. Um, the reason is because I, you know, you had to be able to push through some levels, else just, you're just going to be like spamming um, the boost morale ability or something like that. And I just realized I, did, I do not have a boost morale ability anymore, that's just me messing up my UI. Um, either way, we are going to go back inside of, I believe we're going to be doing this in the game manager. Alright, so right now we need to find a place somewhere where we just start a new level. And uh, there's multiple places. I'm looking at the update over here. If there is a wave active, we do this, blah, blah, blah. Now, if there is no wave active, this is where we do a um, current wave plus plus. So this is where we would actually just uh, change the wave. This would be a great place to do it. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to do if current wave modulo 10. And uh, that's going to give us the remain of the division. So if that's equal to 0, that means we're on wave 0, wave 10, wave 20, or something of the sort. And it's just going to be like putting us to that wave, putting the starting level to that wave. Let's give this a try. I'd like to actually just try this out before we uh, put it inside of the safe games and all that kind of stuff. So just to make sure nothing is broken here, I'm going to do, um, let's actually boot this on say easy and just play this game as fast as we can. I like the level of the damage, the range, and I will come back as soon as we hit wave 20. Alright, so looking at the number down here, we are now on wave 19, and as soon as we hit 20, which should be in a really short moment, we should first get a thousand gold when we exit, and if we launch a game back, then um, since we have not really rebooted the game, since we have a object, the tower object is something that purses through the scenes, then starting level is still supposed to be 20. So if I click here, we start on wave 20, as you can tell. And then it just goes on with the normal stuff. And we do get zero gold if we exit now. So that's totally perfect. Everything seems to be working just fine, um, at least for this mechanic. And we're also going to have like a button somewhere to reset it. But that's not going to be for this episode. However, um, before we end this, let's actually put that in our save game. It's something really important to do. So we can actually have it back when we... Um, we boot the game, so this is something I really do not do not like doing, um, just messing up with the save file, because there's a lot of stuff involved, but we have to do it, so um, where is our save game? Here it is. Oh wait, that's not part of it, sorry, the save game is inside of the tower script. I keep like messing up with the other game I'm making right now, and um, for some reason I use two different systems. So, get save string, that's cool. Uh, let's go at the very bottom of it. Let's go to the very, very last line, and we're going to be adding that here. So, adding a modulo here, really important. And then we're going to do... Um, that's the current wave. Or could we be putting it up here? You know what? Never mind what I just did. We're going to be putting it up here with the rest of the metadata. So, somewhere here. And it's going to be... Right here, after the highest wave completed, we're going to have the current starting level. So I'm going to replace this with a modulo, then go back down there. We're going to do starting level to string. And then we put the pipe sign that we had. Okay, so our whole save data just changed, and that means we're going to get some crashes whenever we launch the game. Um, let's just make sure that everything else is working fine so load from string that would be cool highest wave completed we parse okay this is where we do it so starting level is equal to int dot parse and we're parsing misc at the index number three the fourth one in this way i think we actually should be good to go 
Um, of course, without mentioning the fact that everything's going to be broken because our save file is now different. Our save structure. Let's just assume I press play here, we get a lot of error. And what if we just boot it again? It's fixed. As simple as that, it's fixed. Okay. Now we're going to go in here. We're starting still at wave 10, so that's, um, that's a problem we need to fix right now. Let's go back in our start. Our starting level is going to equal to, well, pretty much just nothing because it's already equal to something when we do load the game. So if we just leave it like that and then we hit play, let's go inside of here. Starting level is currently 10 and I'm assuming it's 10 on the save file as well. So if I just go back, we reset the save file. So confirm. Just making sure I'll do it twice for some reason. And we're starting at wave zero, so that's a good step. Now if we just try to play this uh, and survive till wave number 10, which I just realized might be a little bit harder than I thought, so I'll just cheat. Uh, good old cheating. So we'll speed this up. And I will come back to you at wave number 10. Okay, so here we are on wave number 9. Right now we exit, we get 900 gold, that's perfect. And um, if we just quit now at wave number 10, we go back in the game, we still get wave number 10. Now let's exit the game and try to have it working. So we're on easy, we start at wave number 10. Isn't that wonderful? This is just a good time. Now if we reach wave 11, just for more testing purpose, if we reach wave 11, like right now, we quit, we start again, we should be on wave 10. So this is only working every 10 waves. And again, just to test this out a little bit further, I'll pause the video and um, I'll get to level 20. Alright, so we are back at wave number 19 right now, we're about to win. And that would be wave 20. Whoa, here is one of our problems. If we try to leave now, we're actually getting zero gold, because we reset the starting level. So that's a little bit of a mess that we need to fix, but as you can tell, at least we're starting at level 20. We're just not getting the right gold reward. And um, that's a little bit messed up, so we're gonna head over to the tower script. And um, let's see what we can do here. Inside of the tower script, inside of the game manager actually, we have no starting level here, so we'll just put one. We'll do a public int starting wave, as again, uh, again, this is going to be a set get, and that's the value we're gonna be using whenever we try to. Um, you know, when we try to actually do our gold calculation. So in the start here, we'll do starting wave is equal to the tower that instance starting level, like so. And did I write it? Fine, okay, so starting level like that. And this is what we'll be using wherever we use to use the starting level. So um, down, not down here, but right about here. So on option, we now use starting wave. Same thing below here. And in the loot manager, we also use it in the loot manager, which is right there. Instead of using the tower instance starting level, we'll do game manager dot instance starting wave. And this way we should actually fix our new bug. And that's pretty much all we're going to be doing for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed, I hope you liked, and if you did, please leave me a like. I really appreciate that. And um, also check out the Patreon page if you wish to support me. If you have any comment or question, either use the Facebook page or use the um, YouTube comment section. I try to be more active in those, but I've been on vacation now for like a week, so um, I'll get back right into it really soon. Other than that, please check out the other tutorials and also subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.